What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Now in this quick video, I'm going to show you how and what you need to kill that annoying and uh, scary serpent that we've come across a few times. So first we're going to travel to the Sampu Temple, as you can see on the screen. Once you arrive there, there's two things that you need before we can achieve this. First, we're going to need a ninjutsu combat art. And um, if you recall, you get this from doing the um, the side quest of the folding screen monkeys that you see on the screen. Now, if you haven't done this quest, you won't be able to do this just now. But if you have, that's it, you've met the criteria. So let's get into exactly how this is gonna work. Once you've spawned, you're gonna go to that location where you saw the kite for the first time. Now, if you recall the first time that you interacted with the kite, it didn't really do much this time. You're going to see what happens. We're going to sneak up behind this little guy. And we're going to perform the puppeteer uh, attack. Now what that's going to do is, he's actually going to run up to the kite and interact with it. Now what's more important is not so much that he's interacting with the kite. It's the fact that he's actually going to stay there holding the kite in the air in that position so it won't come back. And what that's going to allow us is it's going to allow us to actually go all the way back to the highest point and uh, actually be able to grapple onto it. So I'll show you that how that works in just a second. So what we got to do now is just trace back and go all the way and look for that high point of where we can see the kite again. So you're just going to navigate through this area like you've done in the past. No need to, uh, to fight anyone unless you want to, of course. And just keep going. If you've missed any uh, any collectibles like I did there, go right ahead and grab them. You're going to grapple and go through there. And um, once, you've, uh, once you've landed here, you remember there was a window that, you opened, that we opened earlier on. You're just going to go through that window. Just keep going. And we're pretty much almost there. Uh, you're going to turn left. And that's the big trunk tree that we want to go to. So just grapple there. And then just grapple a few more times. And you can see the kite from here. And you can see that it's got a grappling point now. So go ahead. And it takes us to another part of the map that up to now we haven't really explored. So again, pick up whatever collectibles are there. And from here we're going to grapple three times. So go ahead. Once twice and the third time so again we're in a different part of the map but in the same area uh, from here all you're going to do is just continue the pass uh, towards inside the cave and there's actually a sculptor's idol here so um, you can actually um, go ahead and uh, interact with it you've got a new save point there as well uh, once you're done that you're just going to continue uh, in the same pass, keep jumping down, jump one more time, and then we can see this little peak over here where you can go. So just carefully walk, walk it like if you're walking the plank, and look what's down there. It's the big serpent. So just jump and do your uh, air air death blow, and that guys is basically how you actually kill this snake and uh he won't uh, appear anymore hope you enjoyed the video guys like always subscribe like helps the channel grow and um, i'm always posting helpful videos to help you get better also let me know your thoughts on the video in the comment section below guys and for lots more content on sekiro make sure you check the description on this page and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.